Hey everybody, it's Matt Fury from Avid here at Sunday. It's 2020, once again bringing you another story from the festival. This time it's Alan Dusso and the documentary, documentary, the Lance Armstrong documentary. Alan, tell us a little bit about this project. So it's a two-part film that's going to be on ESPN later this year. It follows Lance's whole career, staying pretty much in the middle, and we had full access to him. I think we had a total of 10 interviews and verite footage followed him for about a year and a half and cut that out down into a basically three hour film. And documentaries, you know, another hallmark of documentaries, and you, you hinted at this, is just the amount of different uh, source material that you're working with and organizing that, and organization is always the key. Did you have any sort of methods or techniques, whether within the Avid or outside of the Avid for organizing all that material? So, I mean, with Avid, using markers and loading all the information in the bins and having all the columns have all the relevant information was invaluable when it came to licensing and making sure we just stayed organized throughout the whole project. The other thing that happens in documentaries, um, you know, sometimes you set out to make one film and you end up making another. Were there any sort of uh, forks in the road or turns that you took during post-production where you said, you know, this is, we didn't expect this, this is a little different element than we, we had anticipated? Well, since we knew we wanted to focus on Lance, it was a very complicated story. We interviewed tons of cyclists from the entire era. So we ended up having, I think, a total of 80 interviews that then I called down to 30 interviewees total. So it was just a process of being like, this is the story we're trying to tell. And is this the first documentary you've ever done? Uh, I was actually here last year. I cut the first episode of the Lorena Bobbitt doc for Amazon. That was here last year, also on Avid. And what is it you like about working in the documentary format? Well, as an editor, you have so much control over the story. Obviously, the director is getting the interviews and is the one that is making the final decisions, but it's really a collaborative process between the editor and the director, and you're basically the writer throughout the process. So back-to-back -back Sunnets uh, projects, that's pretty impressive. How did you get your start as an editor? Uh, I started working as a post PA for Davis Guggenheim, who did The Inconvenient Truth, and there was an editor, Greg Fenton, who cut that, and I was his assistant editor for four films, and then there was a film that he gave me the opportunity to cut on, and Lorena Bobby was my first big step into full editor credit for the whole thing. Awesome. Well, obviously that was a good start for you because you, you've been here two years in a row. Alan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. The film is the Lance Armstrong documentary. Keep an eye out for it, and we'll have more stories like this for you here at Sundance.